from uh, yesterday you want to take a look at? Number what? Three. Three. Is that the one where we had to write a situation? Oh, yes. The sum of the squares, the first 50 positive integers. Okay. So on that one, um, it says translate into summation and then compute the sum. Right now we're not going to compute the sum. Okay, because there's no real shortcut to doing that that we've taught. It's snowing. Um, so, um, but I'm going to teach you those formulas today. Okay? So basically, on number three is just the sum of the first 50. Yeah, it is. Is it, everybody, is, does it look clear? For the first 50 squares, and then and then for right now, um, that's all we know how to do. I'm going to teach you the formulas today. Yes. Do you want to express that in I? Um. It really doesn't matter. Um. But I suppose the um. It, it it's just it's just kind of the letter that is most often used. You can use, I would not use X, I would not use N, um, I would not use K for reasons that you guys don't know yet. Um, so just use I. Yep, I understand. I see why you asked that. Okay. Don't lash out at me. Okay. So, so then I guess, you know, it would be nice to be able to calculate this. Okay, it really would. So we're going to go over what some formulas are. Okay, let's say if I said I want the summation of from i equals one to ten of five. Any idea what that would be? Nope. Zero. Nope. The summation from 1 to 10 of 5. What? Boom! 50. Why 50? 5, 10 times. Because when i is 1, what I'm adding is 5. When i is 2, 5. When i is 3, 5. When i is 4, 5. So all of these, for every single term that you're adding, it's just going to be worth 5. Okay? So it's going to be 5 plus 5 plus 5, 10 times. Okay? So what if I said this? I had some summation from 1 to n of c. n c. Yeah. n times c. How many of them I have times whatever I'm adding each time. Okay? So that is going to be part of our formulas we're going to use for actually calculating a sum. Okay? <coughs> So that and and you'll kind of see why or how we break this up here real quick, okay? So the next type of situation I want to take a look at is what if I said i equals one to twenty of i? Now that would be if I was multiplying them together, not adding them together. It wouldn't be twenty. Twenty would be my last term. Okay, this one's not as easy to see, but you know we can come up with it. So this one, um, I'm going to have to write it at one plus two plus three plus da -da -da, eighteen plus nineteen plus twenty. Yep. Okay. This reminds me of a famous problem from or a famous situation from long ago. There's a famous mathematician. I forget which one it was. That like he was really really irritating to his teacher because he could do everything so quickly and was just easily bored, and those that cause troubles in class sometimes they're just bored. Okay, so she the teacher was like, hey, I got a job for you. Why don't you go back to your desk and I want you to add up all the numbers from one to three hundred for me. And then the kid's like, oh, okay. And within a couple minutes, he comes back and has it done. And she's like, you didn't add all those up. He goes, well, I didn't have to. I found a pattern. So take a look at what we find.
Okay. So how would we calculate the sum of this? 21 times 10. Okay. So there's a definite pattern where we're adding up just the sum of, um, of consecutive numbers. Wait, so why do we know times 10? Okay, that's a good question. There you go. Okay, we're going to come up with that next, okay? So this is V210, okay? So now if we go to, so what you're doing is you're, you're pairing up the first number and the last number, and then you're taking that times how many pairs you have. So if we go I equals 1 to N of I, it's going to be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus da -da, n minus 2 plus n minus 1 plus n. Let me zoom out here. Okay. What's this? What's the sum of my? Or, you know, what's the sum? I'm going to add a bunch of times. N plus one. N plus one. How many times? N divided by two. There's your formula. That is how you would add the sum of n different terms, or n different numbers, they're all increasing by 1, and um, and we're stopping at n, so we're stopping at n. Pair them up, first and last terms, and so this is just a formula. Now, I just tried to explain where the formula came from. n plus 1 is the sum of the first term, last term, and n divided by 2 is how many terms there are, or how many pairs there are. Okay, so then I've got this question of this. What if I would change this to I equals 1 to 20 of 5i? Well, let's think about this. My first term is 5 times 1. I'm going to write this out and you'll see this. 5 times 2 plus 5 times 3 plus da 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 da. -da 5 times n minus 1 plus 5 times n. If you were going to add all those things up, what would you do? Exactly. You could take your sum before and take it times 5. Why? Because what you're doing is you're factoring out... which is 5 times the sum from i equals 1 to 20 of i. So what this starts to establish is that we can, if we have a coefficient, then we can take the coefficient out, find the sum of all our i's, and then multiply by 5 when we're done. Okay? So what I would like you guys to see right here is the we can take the quick jump to go from here to here because I'm just factoring out a 5. Okay. Isn't there a band right now called factor 5 or something? I don't know. Okay. So. so then we have and this one I'm not going to be able to explain where it comes from right now if we had um, a spare day sometime, where am I at here? There I am. If we had a spare day sometime, I can prove this to you. But if I go i squared to n, it is simply going to be this. n, I think I remember it. I just want to make sure that I'm. Got it. Yep. n times n plus 1. All, over, all times 2n plus 1, all over 6, okay? So what I'm going to do is, is let's pick a small number uh, for n, and then let's show that it works, okay? i equals 1 to 5 of i squared. 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25, okay? So what do I have? 55. Wow, you guys did it that fast, huh? 
Oh, so okay, so you went ten, okay, thirty. Good, good, nice job. Okay, so now let's see if this formula works. My n in this case is five. It's my terminal number, so I get five times. Help me out. So it would be six times eleven, all divided by six. And so now, why do we need this? Well, if we're going to go ahead and evaluate some more difficult um, sigma notation, um, I think it's kind of a, of, a, of, a, of a good way to go. Okay? There's, what? Like 50. Like 50, exactly, exactly. Okay, so now we can see where that sum comes from. Okay? <coughs> so now let's go like this. Okay. Let's do a quick example of what I would want to be able to do. I'm going to give myself more room on a different sheet of paper. I've got to still write a quiz for Algebra 1 next er, later on, so um, I'm going to give you guys some time to work today, which I know would you guys would be like, yay. Wow, that's the ugliest sigma ever. 1, 2, 20. Let's go negative 3i squared plus 10i plus 5. Okay. So how in the heck are we going to do this? I could plug in 1 into each one of these and write it out. I plug in 2. Okay. But, you know, don't, don't necessarily write this out. Just let me, me kind of, you know, convince you of what I'm doing. So this is not something you're going to have to do ever, but I just want you to you know be convinced of what I'm doing here. So I got negative three times one squared plus ten times one plus five, and you guys are like, I'll just um, I don't want to do this, but you don't have to. Okay, so it's going to be that summation right there. Okay, they're all plus, right? So can we reorganize them? Yeah. Let's reorganize it. Negative 3 times 1 squared plus negative 3 times 2 squared plus da 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 plus 10 times 1 plus 10 times 2 plus da 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 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 da da da. Right? Okay. So, what do you notice on each one of these terms? Take out a negative 3. And then can I rewrite? This, what's left over as a summation, i uh, equals 1 to 20 of i squared. Okay. And we've kind of got it brightened up quite a bit. It doesn't seem to be very bright today. Okay. And then plus, how could I write this? 10, 1 to 20 of i plus summation i equals 1 to 20 of 5. So now we're just going to go ahead and use our formulas. I got negative 3 of these. So you know what? Go. You guys are smart enough. You guys don't need your hand held through this next example. Use your formulas that we've given you. No.
When you're done, compare your answer with somebody around you. See if you agree. There are formulas, you know, that we're not going to use for, for the cubed and the, and the fourth and the fifth and all that good stuff, okay? And one of these days when everybody's here, I'll go ahead and prove the squared one because the way, the way you can prove it is really kind of cool. It's really kind of neat, okay? Um, it's what's called a proof by mathematical induction, which you, I'd like you guys to at least see one of those before you leave, okay? So, um... That's basically what I want to wanted to um, move on to you today. So um, I'm gonna have you practice a couple, and then call it kind of a light day. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. Page 340. What you wanted more stuff? Oh, oh okay. Sorry, I just I just wanted to make sure that. Um, About a five pound what? Oh, really? <laughs> Talking about bags of things. Somebody, you know, with the marshmallow trick I played on my wife, somebody found an eight pound bag of marshmallows, of Lucky Charms marshmallows you can buy. Just straight marshmallows? Just all marshmallows. Eight pound bag. Are you going to do it to make up for it? <laughs> yeah, just, just see, look, she opens it up and it's just 100% marshmallows. <laughs> and then put a little note on top. I'm sorry, I love you. <laughs> okay. You should be able to get